Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about something I've been seeing quite often uh, in a couple of my, my comments on my videos and in my f Facebook groups. Now, the, the topic today is coding is boring, what do I do? Or I don't enjoy coding, what do I do? And it seems really prevalent that people are trying to force themselves to learn coding and they don't enjoy it. Or the other situation is they went to like a coding boot camp because they're smart people and they wanted to make a good decision uh, career-wise where it could help them out and they understand that tech and software is very beneficial. So cool, I can learn anything in three months and you know they learn the basics in three months and they realize at the end of it, I don't enjoy this, what do I do? And your my answer may say, you know, it's going to be a long-winded answer, but in in the, the gist, the TLDR version, as the kids would say, is do something else, is my honest opinion. Um, now, you have to be certain that you're just not burnt out. There's a difference between not enjoying it at all and just being burnt out, which is fine. I just did a video the day before, two days ago, about being burnt out. Now, the reason I say do something else, uh, move on to a different path, is not because software is beyond your capabilities, not because software is a bad choice, it's a great one for uh, a career, it's because life is so short, something like 70 or 80% of people hate their jobs, and you don't want to be one of those people. Think back to anyone who has really not enjoyed their job, you find coding boring, if you have a boring job, you're going to hate your job. Um, you don't enjoy it, you're gonna hate your job and it's coding is one of those things where especially in web development i can really only speak from a web developer standpoint but something where you're constantly learning you need to enjoy this stuff otherwise you're never <coughs> you're just gonna collect a paycheck and you're not gonna be a good developer and you're gonna have a really hard time going to work every day because you have to show results at the end of the day and if you don't enjoy it you're never going to get there now what happens when you do enjoy your job? It's fun. You have a great time in as much as we can, you know, working for somebody else, right? But the biggest thing is when you don't enjoy your life, it adds stress. It's not good for your health. And that that's my advice. If you truly are bored by coding and you can't come home uh, and start a side project or find some way to motivate yourself... You need, to, you need to really evaluate and find out what is it that you enjoy to do and go and put your efforts that you were going to put towards coding into that thing and you'll be much happier in the long run. Now, how to know if it's temporary or long term? Well, that's really up to you. My advice is if, you're, if, you, if, if you used to enjoy coding or if you just got out of the boot camp and you're just really you're in that sort of boot camp grind and now you're, you're ready to go into the real world and you haven't coded since... Uh, the boot camp, which seems to be kind of a common theme, is you go do your 90 days, and then you get out, and you're like, I'm done, and you don't actually continue your learning like you need to, then you don't get a job. And I've met a couple people like this, you know, about a year and a half ago, I was at a random meetup, and I had six guys from Coding Dojo who had graduated six months ago in the LA area and weren't able to get jobs. So it's not... And I don't know, I know one of them, I talked in detail with one of them, and they just are like, look, I just did this for a good career choice, I don't really even enjoy it all that much, and that's probably part of the problem. But what? how can you kind of tell, or what steps should you take? Because I don't want you to invest all your time and potentially not be a developer, not be a, a programmer, because it is a great opportunity, it's a great life, and there's you can do a lot of cool things on your own that maybe with a uh, you know, quote-unquote normal job you wouldn't be able to do. Um, such as develop your own projects and things like that, and that's that that goes into one of the, one of my suggestions to find out is is this kind of a temporary thing? Did I did you just overwork yourself and now you need a break? That's fine. Take t you know step one is take like a three day break and see where it leads you. Uh, if you're not recharged at three days and you try to sit down and you can't sit down for thirty minutes or an hour and get passionate about learning something new and diving into it and and trying something else out, you need to you need to you know really consider it and consider that maybe this isn't for you. Um, try and the second thing is try something else. Like try something new. Like if you're a front end developer 
and you're getting burnt out on the front end, you're sick of JavaScript frameworks, jump into jump into the back end, jump into Node, jump into to Express, jump into the databases. Uh, if you're sick of databases, like uh, relational databases, jump into uh, NoSQL databases, document-based databases. Try something new uh, software-related to give yourself sort of something fresh, something that maybe is less repetitive than what you've been doing. Uh, so that that's my first suggestion or second one, whatever it was. And the other the other thing is start your own project. I found that for me personally, the thing that keeps me interested is always having a new project because with your project, you can do whatever you want with it, right? Uh, my big project has always been my YouTube channel, and I I love the fact that at the end of the day, it sinks or it sails based off of what I do. I don't have to I don't have to listen to somebody else and do what they want to do. I get to do all the things I want to do. If today I wanted to end my channel and I said, you know what, this used to be a coding channel and now it is officially a StarCraft channel, hey, it may work out, it may not work out, but that's my decision and I'll be happy with it, right? So like, you need to find a project that works for you. And I, I think coding is one of the interesting things where you have the skill, if you have the skill set, right? Um, you can do a lot of interesting things where you can build something to show somebody, right? It's very almost artistic, right? Where tangible, where, hey, look what I built. This is my baby. This is what, and that's what I really enjoy about a YouTube channel as well, is this is what I've built. Look at, look at, you know, look at all these awesome subscribers with all these interesting comments, sharing things, or Facebook groups and things like that. But that that's my biggest suggestion is, <laughs> other than trying something new, taking a break, Start your own project and start making something for yourself. And, you know, try and dive into it piece by piece by piece and really evaluate, am I burnt out or do I really just not enjoy this? And if you don't enjoy it, I can't stress it enough. Really, really think about so going in a different direction. And it could be something, it could be, you're like, well, I want to be in tech and software. <coughs> I, I, This is a great industry I want to be in it. There's different avenues that don't necessarily involve coding. And you just having a slight little background in coding or a, uh, uh, experience in coding will be really valuable for you as well. So maybe instead of being a, a, a you know front-end developer, back-end developer, full-stack developer, whatever it may be, you could go down the project management route. That, that would be a great and very well-paying route. Maybe you're more into being very artistic with your skill set and... You know, UI UX is great as well, where maybe you just want to design things. You know, you want to create icons. You want to create uh, the way f web pages flow, uh, user flow charts, uh, wireframes, things like that. Um, maybe you're more interested in testing. Now, I, I happen to find testing very boring, but some people kind of like, they like that stuff. So maybe you need to find where your, your sort of coding niche is, if you will. And that's why I really suggest you should jump around and try different things as well. And you may find out that, you know what? I actually really enjoy doing QA engineering. I love nothing more than writing tests and finding bugs in your code to send back to you developers. Like, that, that could be your thing, right? You'd be like a, a bug hunter. <laughs> um, you know, web design. There's a lot of different avenues that you can go down. And you I think you really deserve... If, if you are... If coding is boring, you don't enjoy it, and you've, even if you've invested time and money, you know, you've probably spent $10,000 on a boot camp plus. For your happiness and your financial well-being, I encourage you to explore other options. But before you do that, you really need to consider what that means and make sure that you're just not having a moment, right? We all have moments, myself included, where you think to yourself, is this for me? I don't know. I'm bored by this. I, you know, uh, 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 and it could be personal things and you go back and forth, but I think the smart and safe decision is really at the end of the day to evaluate why you're feeling the way that you're feeling and decide, is this something temporary? Or is this something long-term? Because long-term, you don't want to be one of the 80% that are bored and hate their job because it's not good for your success and it's, it's not good for your health as well. Um, that's my two cents about what you can do if you find coding boring. Um, I wish I could tell you that there was a magic thing to do that would fix all that. Um, but you really just got to try those things. 
try something new. See if maybe you have, like enjoy a different aspect of it. Take a break or, you know, start your own project. And if any of those don't work, you really probably should consider a new path. Um, I don't say that to discourage anybody. I, I say that because I want you to try these other things before you give up, right? Because I want everyone to be a developer. I really do. I think it. I think it's a great... I think software and tech is really one of the only great spaces left in the job market. And it can better a lot of people's lives. My life has been very, has increased much better because of my happiness. I'm very happy because of it. You know, I interviewed Chris Sean who his life has changed and you know, he's very passionate about being a, a web de developer. There's a lot of good that come, come, can come from it in terms of a, a lifestyle, a job, but not if you don't enjoy it and not if you're bored by it, uh, you might as well find something that you are passionate about and you do enjoy because not everything is for everyone my two cents hope you guys enjoyed as always go ahead and join our facebook group code tech and caffeine link is in the description if you want to support me you can at patreon.com slash coding 360 i hope if you are one of those people who are bored by coding that instead of giving up you try a few things <coughs> excuse me and see what may or may not work out for you and if you truly are this isn't for you Try and find something where you can take the in, work within the industry and that's not for you. You want to start a band or whatever? Start a band and build yourself a website with those skills you have. Just find something that works for you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding boot camp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.